Okay, second graders, this is all about checklist 2.mbt.5 part 3, add and subtract. Your learning target is I can add and subtract two digit numbers. Your independent work is add and subtract foldable and check by adding. This one might take you a little bit longer and that's okay. But you can still see if you can get it done in that 15 minute time. Remember, that's three turns on your timer. You still have your fact fluency, which is five minutes, one turn on your timer. Your Google Classroom assignment, you have two future ready skills, which is a color by code, and the game Shoot for 100, then you'll do your quick check. For your independent work, the first one is an add and subtract foldable. To do this, you have all of these problems. They're a mix of adding and subtracting, okay? Your first job is you're gonna solve all of these. It's a lot, but you can do it. You can use any strategy that you want. And then you're going to figure out, did you regroup or not regroup? Remember, regrouping when you're adding is when you need to make a new group of 10. For example, if we solved this first one, it's 68 plus 25. If I break it up and I say 60 plus 20 and 8, plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13, so I needed a new 10 because I need to regroup that to 10 plus 3. Okay, so then 60 plus 20 is 80. 80 plus 10 plus 3 is 93. Since I needed this new 10, I regrouped. So I would say, yes, I regrouped on that one. Now, if you're regrouping on subtraction, so for example, if I have 80 minus 47, I would have 80 minus 40, and then uh-oh, 0 minus 7. I can't do that. So I would need to change this to 70 and change this one to 10. So 70 minus 40 is 30, and then 10 minus 7 is 3. So 30 plus 3 is 33, and since I needed to use this 10, I needed to regroup. Okay? When you have answered all these, you're going to cut them out, and you're going to get a big old piece of construction paper, and you're going to be using all of these little cards in the back. Okay, you have all of these, and if you start to work and you don't finish, you can store all your cut cards in that baggie. Just make sure you zip it close. Then, you're going to put these cards in each section. There's addition, addition with regrouping, subtraction, and subtraction with regrouping. Then what you're going to do is you're going to glue each of these under the right section. Okay, so this will be a bit of a challenge, but I know that you can do it, okay? So that's your first independent work. Your next one is check by adding. That's this page. First, you solve the subtraction problem, and then you're going to make sure you did it right by putting your answer here. So 40, 42 minus 18 is your answer, and if we're using fact families, we know that this 18 plus this number should give you 42 again. So you're going to fill this whole thing out. And then down here, you have to put your own addition sentence in to help you check your subtraction. Then you have your extra math. Make sure you get your fact fluency done every day, your extra math or your um, freckle. Then you have your Google Classroom assignment. Your Google Classroom assignment for this one is, oops, 2MBT5 part three right here. You're going to watch both of these videos, or all three of these videos, there are three. Then you're gonna play Math Leaper until you finish. Then, for your future ready skills, you're going to do this color by code. I could not find my Minecraft color by code, friends, so it's a superhero. So you color, and whatever your answer corresponds to on here, that's the color that you put in the right spot. Last but not least, you're going to play Shoot for 100. This game is a lot like Go Fish. You deal each person five cards. 
then you're going to look at them and you're going to see if you have matches to make 100. Every time you have a match to make 100, you'll put it down. Now, once you have your matches, then you're going to ask your partner. So for example, in order to make 100 with the number 85, I would need 15 more. You have to do that math before you can ask anything. And I would ask my partner, do you have 15? If my partner has 15, they have to give it to me and then they say, swish, and you make a match and you get to ask again. If they don't, then they say, air ball, and you don't get to make that match. And then it's their turn to ask you for a card. When you make a match, then you draw until you always have five in your hand. The game is over when all of these cards are gone and all of your matches are made. Whoever has the most matches wins. Once you're done playing shoot for 100, or with all of these things, then you'll do your quick check. You'll turn in your checklist and tell your teacher. Make sure that you are working hard, doing your best, say when you started, when you finished, and make a great goal for yourself. Like, I want to be done by this day, or I want to get all my questions right on my foldable. Think about a great goal for you and get it done. Great job, second graders. Keep working hard.